Hi there, this is Kyle Arrington, and this is part two of the five-part series of how to blog. You know, it amazed me on how many people are looking about how to blog. They're searching the internet, and in the Google research tool, it's crazy whenever you think about how many people are blogging. So, first of all, I'm going to start out with just putting the phrase, how to blog, okay? I'm going to do search, and get the CAPTCHA done. So our search results are that 16.6 million in the U.S. are searching how to blog. What that tells me is there's a lot of people out there that are blogging and um, maybe even like not necessarily small businesses um, per se, like work at home businesses, but also people in brick and mortar. And so there is an awareness out there that we need to put content out there about blogging. So that is why I created this um, series. So anyway, whenever I was doing this video, I thought, what keyword can I use to figure to help people find me, right? Because people are searching for something. So whenever you go to the keyword tool, you want to think to yourself, okay, what with the end in mind, you know, like from the first video, you want to keep the end in mind. So if you are selling gardening tools, you know, you want to keep gardening in mind. And then at the end, whether it be gardening tools that you sell or an ebook or whatever, that's going to be your call to action, okay, with your end result in mind. How to blog. I chose that because I have a blogging platform. And so I know that if someone is asking how to blog, that they're into blogging, okay? Now, some people do use different things, kind of the, um, if you have an interest in movies and you're constantly doing movies, yet you have a home-based business and blogging, you can still do that, that's fine. The conversion rate may be a little bit lower, but you can still do that to be found online, okay? So whenever you're doing your keyword research, first of all, keep the end result in mind. Think about what the person, what, who is your target audience? What do you want to accomplish whenever you're doing keyword research? So mine again was how to blog, you know, for people that want to blog because I promote a blogging platform. So I'm going to look at the competition first because long term I would like to rank on Google, okay? So the competition is low, which is fantastic because when there is low competition, that means that you can um, rank in the search engines more easily because there is um, the bigger guys like MSNBC and you know just things that rank higher are not there. So you're competing against other websites that are not ranked high in the search engines. Then I'm going to look at the global monthly searches. That is for um, the world. You know, it's not just here in the U.S. where I am, but it's throughout the world. Local searches. I initially thought that that was just for like I live in Overland Park and it's near Kansas City. So I thought initially it was for the Kansas City metropolitan area, but it's not. Local monthly searches is for the U.S. if you live in the U.S., okay? Then, and so, the, and so that shows that 16.6 .6 million people are searching for it in the U.S. That is a lot, a lot. Normally whenever I look at keywords, it's like, I don't know, maybe a couple thousand, maybe 10,000 or something. And so whenever I saw that, I was like, yes, gold mine, right? Because that's a great keyword because people are, a lot of people are searching for it, okay? So when you're researching keywords for whatever it is you're doing with blogging, make sure that there's a good amount in search. And sometimes you'll, you'll put in a keyword phrase and it will, won't even come up because people are not searching for it, but it will give you different ideas as to what you could search for. And over here, you can do different match types. Broad means that if anything at all, if Google thinks anything at all is related to um, how to blog, they're going to put it down here. Okay? The exact match means that it has to be exactly how to blog for the search engine to see it. So 
um, like down here, how to blog, okay? So if, it has, if you're looking for a keyword, make sure that there is a lot in search, um, people searching for it, so that you will be found, and um, because if they're not looking for it, it's pointless, right? So next time we are going to um, discuss, let's see what we are discussing next time. We will be discussing um, um, producing content, okay? So whenever you're producing content on your blog, how to do it, what to look for, what to put. So um, make sure that you tune into that too. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.